vlog people. Uh, today I had to uh, drive up to Alcona. Actually, I did a bunch of uncut and raw stuff this morning until I think I got up at eight. Got a bunch of thirsty, uh, sorry, uh, uncut and raws all edited up and exported, kind of um, trying to catch up and getting all my stuff done uh, for the holiday season. Um, I can't wait till I've got all that Thirsty Thursdays. I got about three months worth of Thirsty Thursdays to get up. And if I try to put them up every day, then we'll get caught up pretty quickly. Um, so today I went up to Alcona, that's where I am right now. And I was trying to think of a good mukbang to do. And I wanted it to be Canadian, Canadian themed. And so I thinking, well, we've got to have Tim Hortons coffee. We got to have something to do with turkey. We definitely have to have a poutine. If I could have got a turkey poutine kind of thing going on, that would have been great. But uh, some like the the mom and pop shops in the area are closed because it's um, Christmas Eve, which is totally un understandable. That's got to make a left hand turn, people. Hang on, without getting into a collision of some type. All right. Okay. So I ended up getting uh, a large um, two sugar coffee and then I put eggnog in it. Of course you have to have eggnog in your coffee at Christmas time. And then I did a, the uh, Tim Hortons turkey sandwich. That was the only thing I could find that's turkey related. And then after that, uh, I went to a wild wing and grabbed a poutine forgot to ask them if they have cheese curds because it definitely wasn't cheese curds so their poutine I think it's just like one poutine that they have on the menu and it had bacon no cheese curds it had mozzarella and um, cheddar grated on it so although it was good it wasn't a traditional poutine which kind of sucked uh, for that video but Hey, I, I, that's, you know, that's the way it happened. So, so I got that video done and out of the way. And then I went over to, I needed to get my um, lights, new batteries for my lights because I wore them for like three hours at, Chris, at Carol's family's Christmas on Saturday and uh, the batteries died. So uh, I went to Canadian Tire first. They didn't have the batteries. So he said, oh, go to the source. And then I met a gentleman, actually a couple guys in that store knew who I was, which was great. And uh, they took uh, took the necklace apart, got batteries, put the new batteries in. His name was Shane. And uh, so he says, oh, my, my brother actually, my younger brother who's in the military actually um, uh, hooked me onto your videos. He says, that usually their, their platoon or whatever will go and grab food, come back and they'll watch my videos. So, and his name's Evan. And so I said, oh, give him one of my cards. So I gave him one of my business cards. And he says, oh, sign it to Evan. I'll put it in his, in his uh, stocking for Christmas. So uh, thank you very much, Shane, for saying hi. And I uh, hope Evan sees this video too. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, so it's, it's so nice when you meet up with people who know your videos and, and uh, Shane also said he really, really likes, because I asked him, I said, what videos do you like? I'm always curious, especially when I meet you face to face. It's a, it's a nice question, you know, what's your favorite video and why? And and uh, so he, he likes videos where I use the two camera setup. So um, I, I prefer the two camera setup myself. It's just obviously easier to shoot one camera. And, and, and again, I can't please everybody. I, you know, when I do two cameras, people say, what's the point in using two cameras? There's no point. Uh, and then when I don't use two cameras, people get upset that I don't use two cameras. So like I said, I can't I can't please everybody. I, was, I think originally I was supposed to, I'm rambling, sorry. Uh, originally I was supposed to do two cameras on Friday. Friday is gonna be my fast food Fridays, two cameras every single Friday. Monday will be a Monday mukbang, just single camera. Thursday, Thursday's one camera. Wednesday, depending on what kind of video I do Wednesday, uh, I kind of like the style where I get out of the car and go and do stuff. So, and I don't usually like doing that with two cameras. So yeah, just trying different things and seeing what works. And he really, as a, as a person who likes to put videos together, he says he likes the production value of having two cameras and utilizing that. 
so thanks Shane for your, your feedback, appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I'm headed back home. There's a guy behind me, I think he's in a real rush because he's thinking he should pass me even though we're all doing the speed limit. And it's kind of dangerous to pass. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I had to get the mukbang done, I had to get a Thirsty Thursdays done. Technically, I need to do another food review for Wednesday. Not sure when I'm going to be able to do that. Hopefully, hopefully I can slip out tomorrow or do something um, and then edit that on Christmas Day. Uh, I should have done all this stuff last week, but I, I was busy doing other things. I can't, this, for some reason, I guess because I do food, there's only so much food I can eat in a day. So there's only so many videos I can eat in a day. And, uh, it's, it's nice when you're doing a food review to be hungry and you're not going to be hungry if you do three videos back to back in a, a very short time so anyway I just wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year uh, I'll still vlog here and there Carol and Carol and I are taking her mom and dad to Niagara Falls for for New Year's to see Niagara Falls with the lights at New Year's Eve so That'll be interesting. First time ever doing that. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys did for, for Christmas and New Year's in the comment section below. Uh, also, I asked the question in the mukbang, you know, if you were to do a traditional Christmas mukbang in your car, what items would you choose in what area do you live? Because that obviously would affect it. My, one of my thoughts for an American Christmas would be you know, a big bacon cheeseburger and a milkshake and I don't know, I don't know what else you'd want to have. I guess turkey and stuff. I think I think I talked to a bunch of Americans once and they said they'll do they do their big turkey dinner and everything on, on Thanksgiving and then they'll do ham and stuff on uh, Christmas. So each to his own man. Do whatever you want for Christmas. Alright. So I'm gonna get home, edit all this stuff and then uh, have Christmas with my family. See you guys later.